I'd now like to turn to the topic in hand, uh, which of course is alternative dispute resolution. Now dispute resolution, whether it's litigation, arbitration, or any other form of ADR, really has a very simple aim. You want to get a binding and enforceable outcome. To non-lawyers, the world of international arbitration is shrouded in a veil of mystery. We, we got an idea of that from one of the questions from the uh, from the floor this morning asking about whether or not they ought to specialize in international arbitration. I'm afraid that that's a widely held misconception that arbitration is the sort of thing you see in movies with lawyers traveling around the world to exotic countries, meeting with officials from foreign governments and multinational corporations, uh, and representing them before international tribunals and high-stakes cases. Of course, some of you might be forgiven if you thought that this conference was also one of those. But reality bites. The reality is this. International arbitration is simply a method of dispute resolution arising out of international commercial agreements. And like all such matters, uh, the, uh, international arbitration is governed by contract and rules. And parties are actually looking not for fancy legal arguments. What they're really looking for is neutrality in the venue, they're looking to have their arguments and uh, agreements kept confidential. They're hoping to get a specialist decision maker. And they're hoping to get finality and enforceability. It's really all as simple as that. But regrettably, Pakistan is out of line with most of the rest of the world. In that virtually every other major trading country follows the New York model law. Um, it provides for all of those countries that follow that system a generally similar, if not identical, approach which makes it easier for advocates to go from jurisdiction to jurisdiction knowing what they have to deal with, knowing what the agreement has to provide, knowing what is expected of parties and disclosure obligations, and so forth. And ultimately, Pakistan will need to ensure that at some stage it gets to adopt the model law or an equivalent. With that in mind, our panelists are going to discuss what is happening globally with international arbitration and hopefully we'll see what Pakistan is doing well, or what it ought to be doing better uh, to make arbitration both domestic and uh, international more accessible. Now with that in mind, I thought the best thing to do is to start with the easiest of all points and that is the seat of the arbitration.